Hey guys, um, I just was doing some research and I wanted to be able to use my touchscreen while I'm driving because I honestly do not like the si <clears throat> excuse me system that's down here. So I did some research and it turns out that you can actually do it without hacking the system. Um, it's the same thing that you would do for a Mazda 3. So let me show you that it does not work while I'm driving. I put it back to factory settings for you guys. All right, I'm going about eight miles. Can't use it. Let me pull over here. All right, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna come down here. Sorry for the mess, you guys. You're gonna hold power, favorites, and music all together. You'll get the test screen. So what you're gonna do is hold delete until in the data window right there, you'll get test active. And it should take about five to 10 seconds for it to pop up. There it is, JCI test mode available or active. So you're gonna go over here and type code 11, enter. Then you see speed toggle. You're gonna to push that. Speed restriction has been toggled, disabled. Push okay, cancel, and then exit. It will disconnect your Bluetooth, but it'll automatically disconnect it. There it goes. So now, if we go back the other way, think I'm crazy going about 10 miles an hour now it works I find it kind of useful in some ways so when I'm driving if you do have if you do have bought the navigation you are able to move around now. Um, there is no pinch to zoom, but you have your zoom out here. But I find it pretty useful for having the touch screen. And this is on a 2016 Scion IA. It will work from a 2016 Scion IA to the Toyota Yaris IA 2019. So I hope you guys find this video useful. If you have any questions, please comment down below. Have a great day, guys. Bye-bye.